Aemon accompanies Aegon and Lucerys Velaryon to the Dragon Pit as Jacarys Velaryon is trained to command for Max. Aemond is the only boy without a dragon of his own. The three boys trick Aemond into thinking they found him a dragon, only to present him a pig they dressed up as one, mockingly proclaiming it the Pink Dread. Aemond descends into the tunnels of the pit, where he finds a large adult dragon. When the dragon roars and breathes fire, however, a frightened Aemond is knocked back and runs away. Aemond tells his mother of the incident while Helena overhears. Alicent later reprimands Aegon, who calls Aemond a twat. Aemond later trains in arms with Aegon, Jace, and Luke in the courtyard of the Red Keep under Sir Criston Cole. Aemond attends the funeral of his aunt, Lena Velaryon, on Driftmark. He and his brother watch their sister Helena study a spider, and they argue over Aegon's betrothal to and dislike of their sister. Aemond defends Helena by reminding Aegon she is their sister and his future queen. When Aegon suggests Aemon should marry Helena if he's willing to defend her, Aemon says that if he were betrothed to Helena, he would do his duty to keep their Valyrian blood pure. Later, Aemon approaches Jace, Baylor, and Reiner who are all mourning a parent. A long look is exchanged, but nothing is said. That night, when his grandfather Otto Hightower drags off a drunken Aegon to put him to bed, Aemon decides to achieve his dream of claiming a dragon to prove himself. He sneaks away from his family and finds Vagar sleeping on the beach. When he approaches her and tries to climb her, she wakes up. Vagar goes back to sleep once Aemond backs away, but when the boy tries again, an angered Vagar almost burns him alive. He successfully bonds with her by commanding her to calm herself and serve him in High Valyrian. He then climbs on her back, but neglects to fasten himself to the saddle before commanding her to fly, almost falling to his death as Vagar soars into the sky. Nevertheless, he quickly gets the hang of it and rides the dragon around high tide before landing. When he returns to the castle, Aemond is confronted by Jason Luke, as well as Lena's daughters, Bela and Reiner. Reiner says that she was entitled to Vagar as Lena's daughter, but Aemond, taken over by a rush of ego and pride, tells her to go claim a pig instead, as it would fit her. The two fight, but Aemond throws Reiner to the ground. Bela punches him, but Aemon strikes back and threatens to feed Bela to Vagar if she comes at him again. This prompts Jace to enter the fray, followed by Luke. Both are knocked down, with Luke's nose being broken. Jace manages to push Aemon to the ground, and he, Bela, and Reiner begin to pummel Aemon. Aemon manages to escape before grabbing Luke by the throat and brandishing a rock to hit him with, cruelly saying that Luke will die screaming on fire just like his father Harwin Strong calling Luke and Jace bastards. When Luke says that his father, Lainor, is still alive, Aemon taunts Jace about Luke not knowing his true parentage, calling him, Lord Strong. This prompts Jace to unsheathe a knife and attack him, but Aemon dodges him before hitting him in the head with the rock. As Aemon prepares to strike Jace again, Jace blinds him with sand before Luke grabs the dropped knife and slashes Aemon in the left eye. As Aemon wails in pain, the King's Guard, attracted by the commotion, find the children. As Harold Westerling orders the children to cease fighting and turns Aemon over to see his injury, he is shocked by what he sees. The children are brought to the Hall of Nine, where King Viserys angrily demands to know from his King's Guard how this happened, while Aemon's eye is tended to by Maester Kelvin as Corlys, Rhinus, Rhaenyra, and Demon enter asking what happened. Aemon accuses Jason Luke of attacking him unprovoked, but an argument soon breaks out amongst the involved children, Sons Aegon and Helena, screaming at and over each other before Viserys silences them. The king questions Aemond, who is defended by his mother. When Jace says that Aemond called them bastards, Viserys demands that Aemond reveals where he heard the rumor. Aemond eyes his mother, but reluctantly says he heard it from Aegon. Initially taken aback, Aegon, when pressed by Viserys, says that it is obvious that Jace and Luke are bastards based simply on the non-Valyrian appearance. When Viserys demands that peace be made within the family and that anyone who questions the legitimacy of Rhaenyra's sons will have their tongue removed, Alicent says that is not enough, and demands the eye of one of Rhaenyra's sons in return. When Viserys refuses, Alicent then demands that Sir Criston take one of Lucaris's eyes, claiming that she will let him decide which eye to keep, a privilege not rewarded to Aemond, but Criston remains still. The situation escalates dramatically when Alicent grabs Viserys's Valyrian steel dagger to do it herself. 
Amond remains seated for most of the confrontation between Alicent and Rhaenyra when she moves to defend Luke. When the two are separated, Aemon tells Alicent not to mourn him, as he gained a dragon, and considers it a fair exchange for his eye. The next day, Aemon rides Vigar back to King's Landing alongside Aegon on Sunfire and Helena on Dreamfire. Six years later, Aemon spars with Kristen in the training yard. Although Kristen initially has the upper hand, Aemon is able to defeat him. Kristen compliments him by saying that he will be winning tournaments in no time, to which Aemon replies, I don't give a shit about tourneys. He then notices his nephews Jace and Luke, and asks them if they have come to train. Aemon is later present when Vaymond Velaryon petitions the crown to name him heir to Driftmark. He appears to be amused throughout the proceeding, especially so when Vaymond loudly declares the bastardy of Jace, Luke, and Joff. At supper, Aemond is served a roast pig, causing Luke to laugh at him in remembrance of the prank that he, Jace, and Aegon played on him. In response, Aemon stands up and raises a toast to his nephews, in which he taunts them about how, strong, they are. A brawl erupts at this, ending with Demon exchanging a challenging look with Aemon, causing the latter to back down.